Hello Collective, welcome to the Ascended Realms of Divinations. You are greatly appreciated and you are welcome. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families. I return to source. I return to sender. All negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energy. Okay? Whoa. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All negative and uh all negative and ill intent of your enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak as i have said uh, so shall it be the judgment is final all right let's go ahead and get into our tarot read and then we'll do our oracle read maybe sometime towards the end i hope you all are doing well so what we have out here is someone that's abusing their power basically someone is out here being a brute someone took some type of reckless action that has put them under judgment loss protection someone may have been wanting to come towards you for forgiveness or something or to sail onto calmer waters with you someone may no longer be partnering up with another person or someone is choosing not to partner up with them um, because there is some type of truth exposed that someone wants to give you some type of apology and work something out or balance something out someone is literally out here losing their mental they're extremely unstable i don't know what the heck is going on someone is that set on wanting to control something some type of situation because they partook in a situation <laughs> they partook in something that has led to them losing quite a lot and they have fallen from grace someone is stuck in some type of toxic situation they're being seen as deceitful um this is someone when you meet them uh they present themselves to be like a pillar of the community this is someone you would think is respectable they live the right way they kind of uh operate on principle they're very ethical but this is someone very devious and something may be exposed about them this is why they're showing up in the reverse but someone is under judgment for abusing their power this is like a brute for some of you, you could work with this masculine or this is someone that was paid to do something to you to cause you some type of burden. But now he's under burden uh, because there's something he was supposed to do that he hasn't been able to fulfill or it's not going the way he wanted it to do. There is something where it's like a group of people, a family has gotten together and are trying to burden someone. It's like they're, these people have been broken from a very young age and up to what they are now and they have some type of common goal and this common goal is to destroy someone specific this is like a light worker they've all gathered together to destroy so they are doing some type of moon, uh, ritual i was going to say moon ritual they are doing some type of moon ritual which they started ahead of time according to them and i don't know what that means maybe they started three days ahead of the full moon or the new moon maybe they started a month ahead a week ahead or something like that but whatever it is they're doing they're not going to get the reaction that they're looking for this is like a group of people getting together to throw negative energy or to project negative energy onto someone but it's not working it's not going to work they want you to act out of character they want you to get like angry so if some of you notice that you're just agitated for no reason it's because there's a group behind the scenes that is throwing you some type of energy but you need to know that you are protected there's nothing they can do that's going to hinder you in any way uh cause you some type of loss or whatever it is they think they're doing this is just kind of childish people people that are refusing to grow up it's that kind of people being in their 40s 50s 60s 70s even 80s just kind of refusing to grow up and they're stuck in some type of old paradigm of doing magic right they're stuck like the whole group behaves the same even when things are shown to them like these are people who you can give them like a big sign hey don't turn this way and they'll they'll still turn there because these are people that are addicted to negativity and darkness right they get a thrill out of doing malicious things to people they don't want to see other people thriving because their lives are not thriving these are people that that are like kind of pawns in a game this could be like a cult like mentality uh that's taking place and they have some type of common goal to hinder someone who is a light worker who is a star c with this star uh this sun car out here something is being illuminated about these people that they want hidden so this is like people pretending to be something for many many years they say like they had some type of coving light or cold like mentality going on 
um, and they've been able to hide this for a long time. But then here you come along and your eyes are open and you see these people for who they are and you get to spend some type of lengthy time with them. So you study them from afar, but you're up close, right? It's like you're studying them, but you're not partaking in what it is they're doing. So you learn these people very up close and personal because now you know the truth about them is it's bothering not intimidating but it bothers them that you know the truth you see them for who they are so they're not able to come in and pretend to be something other than what you see them to be so there could be someone in here that may want to now come and apologize to you because these people may have told them a lie so maybe someone took some type of action against you because of a lie that was told to them there's a king of source in here that was hired to do something to you when he was initially hired his ancestors or someone of higher knowledge someone with common sense told him not to partake but someone is a bit of a brute they like this is like a practitioner. He took it personal. So because he took it personal, he has made it a mission to take you down. But it's like whatever he's doing, you kind of just see someone as very childish, very immature. Some of you, if you are aware of who this person is, you kind of just see them see them as a old man that just refused to grow up. Okay, so whatever magic he's doing is just not working. You're still standing your ground, still moving forward. You're still protected. Someone may not even be able to come in your energy. Like this is you. You're chill. You're calm. You're relaxed. You're minding your business. Whatever it is he's doing is going to lead to nothing but heartbreak for him. And whoever hired him, this is what's coming for them. Disappointment. There's something about this man is that he gives up like a very vain like a very vain energy, but he's very much of a brute, okay? Everybody, everybody in this scenario, right? This is what they're going through. Disappointment, chaos, fighting, all kinds of stuff. Whatever actions these people took against you, Starcy, is not going to end up well for them, okay? These people have done nothing but accumulated karma for themselves. These are people that kind of just refuse to grow up. Um, so I don't even know what the heck this, this is supposed to be like garnering for them. You know, usually when you take action in life, it's supposed to garner something for you. Like you're supposed to get some type of reward, whether it's emotional reward, re emotional fulfillment, mental fulfillment, joy, something, some type of financial gain, but they're not getting it. It looks like you're still manifesting a new real reality for yourself. So what was the reason or the purpose of all of this it's like a waste of time so you may be receiving some type of message from a masculine energy maybe he's part of this community and he may want to balance something out with you now that the truth is out so he may be giving you something and they don't want him coming towards you and whatever this person chooses to give you is going to enable you to bring balance into your life and you know help you kind of move on with your life someone sees you as very strong very brave and they're kind of uh, surprised that you are staying calm or not losing your s-h-i-t in the middle of this nonsense that these people are doing i tell you it's like it's like basically a light worker sitting back and just watching a bunch of grown-ups act like children it's it's kind of embarrassing it's embarrassing this is the absolute truth someone could be coming to worship with the truth you may not be expecting this uh but just know there is going to be truth and clarity brought into this situation and you are being advised by your ancestors to keep your mind on positive thoughts right keep going forward i'm telling you this king of swords here in the reverse is not looking good someone is trapped in something he may have made a vow taking some type of oath right and now he has to come through with the promise he made if he was paid to do something and he could not follow through with it he's trapped with these people someone may have signed some type of contract and now he's not able to fulfill his end of the bargain maybe someone developed some type of emotions for you someone may like you but the feelings are not reciprocated i'm telling you He's under judgment. The whole group is under judgment. So if they took anything from you, blocked you, or did something to you, they are under judgment and they stand to lose a lot more. The whole group is in some type of mental imprisonment. The whole group is not getting along. They are fighting. They are determined to block some type of love offer, some type of victory between two people. I don't know if these two people are meant to be together or work together, but this was the whole purpose of these two excuse me, uh, this whole group coming together was to block a union, right? Because they didn't want the two of you prospering in life and they know that you two are very loyal people, right? Upright, hardworking, right? So these people have been putting in a lot of options, uh, I mean, a lot of work in how they can block you too, right? They've put in a lot of thought 
into the, into the actions they can, they can take, right? To get you to, to let your guards down, right? To get you to let your guards down so they, they can cause you more burdens. There's something where these people are working really hard on some type of ritual to cause some type of manipulation. They're trying to hide some type of secret. At this point, I don't think it's a secret anymore. I think these people are just kind of doing something, you know, just kind of throwing anything out there and hoping to get some type of result. It's that you know something is not working, but you're just still, still going to keep taking a whack at it. That's what they're doing. They say, oh, just do that, try that, try that, do this. Um, someone may have done something really vain, and they're going to have to cut their loss as well and move on. Someone may have done something really vain, like trying to get a reaction out of you. As I said earlier, this group, they plan something. Like they want you stuck in your mental, they want you stuck in your head. They want you feeling frustrated so that you can end up letting go of your destiny, of letting go of your path. But you're focused on better things. Like you already know, like you have foresight of what these people were doing. So you were already expecting it. Uh, so you're not really surprised at what they did and the reaction they were trying to get out of you. It's not what they're getting. You're still focused on your dreams. You're out here showing up as the queen of cups, which is how you should be. Keep focusing on your dreams. And like I said, you already knew because you already went within about the situation. This is like knowing the enemy's moves. Before they take the, make their moves because they're predictable. This is a karmic group, karmic community. So you already knew what they were going to do. This is the energy they want you in, but this is the energy they are in. There's a whole lot of projection going on. I get a whole lot of projection, right? From a toxic group, a whole lot of projection. And your, your, your ancestors want you to know it's all an illusion. This group is the one going through this. I'm telling you. They're the one throwing a fit behind the scenes. They're the one losing their emotions, can't control themselves, can't contain their emotions. There could be a king of wands in here going through some type of emotional turmoil as well. Uh, I don't know if he lost a lot working with these people or he's finding out that he betrayed you, thinking that you betrayed. I don't know what the heck this is, honey. These people are hopeless. This is like hopelessness. And because they feel hopeless, they're taking a lot of drastic actions. Okay. They may be trying to cause some type of harm to a king of pentacles because he sees the truth. Someone may have went and sought the truth for himself from a third party as far as like a practitioner or something of that nature. So he sees exactly what it is these people have been doing. Uh, he sees it now, right? So they may be, uh, uh, be feeling betrayed that, with the fact that he wants to leave or he wants to communicate with you. He wants to put an end to his alliance with these people, people because he sees them for who they are. And he may want to work with you because this is how this person sees you. That lets me know that this is someone people may have told that you were, that they slander you to someone. They possibly told someone you were like a leech. You were not self-sufficient. You were codependent. Basically, everything they told him about you was what someone else was, possibly a queen of wands. Um, maybe someone just kind of uh, uh, went for looks or something like that. I don't know what it is, but he was misled by a group of people. Someone may have gathered her friends to do this, and now it's led to some type of ending. This is something these people were planning for you. It's like they were planning. It's like, the I don't know. I don't know how these kind of people minds work. It's like whatever they're planning is just so childish. Um, but someone is getting desperate behind the scenes. I'm telling you, someone is getting desperate behind the scenes because things are not going their way or something. Uh, they may be they may be about to lose something like a house, a home, stability, work, or something like that. Someone is about to lose a whole lot because of the lies they told. Someone may be going through some type of ending they are not able to recover from. They may not be able to recover from. Someone is going through a whole lot of burdens because of the actions they took against you. Okay, there could be a privileged lady in here going through some type of ending as well, or this could be like a gold digger that's been using a masculine and she knows that there's an ending coming for her. She Things are not going in her favor. She may have been expecting something to go in her favor or she was expecting you to react in some type of way that will show this masculine that you are not worth a commitment. But it looks like you are still standing your ground. But in a logical way, you're not out here losing your temper because this is what they wanted, which is going to ensure some type of collaboration, successful collaboration between you and this masculine or whoever this is. And it has these people living in fear someone may be keeping his distance from a queen of wands 
or just this community all together and he absolutely wants to communicate with you someone could have tried to communicate with you before and they interfere with it maybe now he's finding out yeah so he's taking some type of action they are burdened about this person taking action to come towards you okay there's something where these people have been planning uh to cause you some type of ending as far as giving you some type of false offer and they wanted to make it seem as though this masculine was part of it like he was the one who sent you uh but he's not this was a plan to have you trapped have you stuck okay but it, i'm telling you this king of swords in the reverse is going through some type of financial setback because of an action he took against you or this is what's up ahead for him of him okay so not only is he in some type of mental imprisonment in some type of uh, uh, uh like uh, whether it be emotionally or psychologically, spiritually, he feels stuck and binded to some type of contract he cannot get out of. His money is looking funny now because he tempered with your money. Someone may have been, maybe someone was supposed to work with you when they met you. But instead of working with you, they betray you. And this is what's leading to them losing so much money. Okay. Uh, someone was very, yeah, someone could be losing the money house. I mean, uh, yeah, money in a house friendships relationships someone someone is going through it or they're about to go through it okay someone didn't think long enough about an option or a proposal that was made to him and he took some type of action he took it personal because i don't know if he sees you as like someone very young like you should be naive not be aware of what they're doing it's like someone is kind of shocked that you know who they are what they've been doing uh, so now he's past that stage where it's like, okay, I know, you know, it's me, but I don't care anymore. I'm going to show you that it's me doing it and I'm going to do this and you can't do nothing about it. And you're just like, go ahead and do whatever you want. I really don't care. So he took some type of action. He's going to have to walk away eventually, right? Because there's a tower coming for this masculine that he's not going to be able to recover from. I'm telling you, there could be someone behind the scenes that now wants to advocate for you. Maybe they're leaving this institution out in the pool, bringing balance into this situation because people are going through a lot of loss, okay? Uh, romance is out of balance. These people are not getting along. There are no emotions. There are no friendships. If there was a king of cups here in this uh, environment, he's gone they're not able to manipulate him anymore he's taking himself out of this situation everybody's money finances situations are looking funny 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 okay and this is what they were intending for you it's kind of like something backfire on a group of people right it backfires someone is emotionally unstable emotionally unavailable and they want to come in and give you some type of commitment i don't think you want a commitment from this person this could be someone from your past they see you now as wish fulfillment they want to now come back and build a family with you uh restore the family dynamic with you i don't think you're interested you're, you're possibly an empress energy I don't think you're interested. I'm telling you, you're not interested because someone is going through some type of ending. It looks like everybody is going through some type of ending. There's some type of betrayal that's going on here while you are sitting and looking pretty, moving on with your life, having a brand new passionate beginning in life. Your enemies are going through it, honey. They are going through the ringer and this is how it's always been meant are destined to be these people are going through endings it's towers after towers after towers after towers and this is destiny playing out i'm telling you this is destiny playing out this is how it was always meant to be so i don't know what they were expecting but there is clarity now and because there's clarity in a situation and people are thinking twice now about why someone did something or why something went the way it did now they're they may be choosing to take different paths different directions make different choices and things like that because it's like every day they wake up there's a new problem in this community someone is exposed in here of feminine energy um, and there's really nothing she can do to hide what it is she's been doing. It's like someone presenting themselves in some type of light, light, uh, likeness that's not theirs, right? She wanted people to believe that she was genuine when she's the complete opposite. Um, she wanted people to think she was smart, clever, but this woman is nothing but a liar. Okay. This is nothing but a deceitful person walking about the face of earth, uh, causing a lot of mayhem from behind the scenes. Someone has mastered how to misrepresent themselves to get what they want, okay? Uh, you could have someone in here or this, these people feel weighed down. 
they feel burdened. They've done too much behind the scenes. Um, at this point, they're going to definitely have to cut their loss and move on. Uh, but someone is going through some type of ending and they are trying to fight their way through it. It's like, man, down. I know I'm down, but I want to keep going because someone is very stubborn. Uh, someone may be fighting really hard to make their way to you. I don't think you want anything to do with this person because they're coming with nothing but deceit. All right. You already know the truth. The truth has been revealed to you, but someone wants to come in and cloud your judgment so you can take them back and then they can have you stuck in a new karmic cycle. Um, so just be mindful of this person. When they come towards you, there are ulterior motives for why he's coming towards you. Someone who has lost their job. Someone is committed to betraying you. Someone is a false leader, a false higher fan. Someone is just coming in to take from you. Not They don't have anything to offer to you, whether that's emotionally, mentally. I don't think they have anything to offer to you. And you know this. So do not second guess yourself. And they may know as well that you are aware, okay, of why they're coming towards you, okay? Um, they've been trying to cause a high priestess, a lot of burdens and things like that. Um, but you have a brand new passionate beginning coming into you. Someone is absolutely worried about you manifesting some type of new reality for yourself, new success for yourself. So if you had a business, people are tempering with it. This, this whole group is fighting because you are still in this energy here. Okay, because this is your natural energy. Um, so that lets me know they've been telling people that you are problematic. You're emotionally unstable, emotionally unavailable or something like that. Very manipulative. They've told people that you are dark, but in reality, you're just a high priestess focused on your finances. Okay, focus on your home front, your family, minding your business, uh, things like that. So someone may be taking action to come towards you. I would thread with caution with anyone from this community. If you are aware of this community, this could be something from your past with this King of Cups here in the reverse. These are people from your past. So I would thread with caution. Some of you may be traveling soon or someone is traveling towards you to offer you some type of friendship as well. Just, just, be, just be cautious. Be careful. There's karma... Yeah, there's karma going on behind the scenes and there's conflict. These people are fighting with one another. They are fighting, fighting, fighting. There's a lot of arguments going on behind the scenes. They said, why did you tell me this about this person? Why did you lie? Someone has been found out as a liar. So it's causing a lot of problems in here. Someone may have been pretending like you were doing something to them, but people are finding out that you didn't do anything to this person. Out of the projections, people are wanting you to feel like you are not worthy of success. You are not worthy of love. Like some, there's a group that's a little bit too focused on a feminine energy's life. It's like they want you to feel like you don't belong with them or no one likes you. But you're like, I don't really care about any of that. Why are people worried about who likes them or who does not like them? Uh, that's the question the world wants to know. Like, why are these people just focused on a feminine energy? OK, like you don't have any regrets for not having anything to do with these people. And that's the thing they don't understand. You don't care what they have going on. You're not worried about their whatever this is. They call it a family. They call it a, 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 a I don't know what this is, honey. Whatever this is for these people, you don't care. OK, um, we have the bowl out here. Um, this is a positive sign that. You know, uh, uh, um, if you like start any new projects, uh, new uh, adventures, new endeavors, they will be successful, especially like in love and things like that. If you have a new relationship that's starting or you are trying to spark a old relationship, maybe you two have been together for a long time and you're trying to reignite the energy in their relationship, you will have success in there. Um, you are being advised to stay hopeful as well um, because that'll get you a long way, okay? You are also being told to stay vigilant because there are people around you or at the distance trying to do something to you trying to cause you an ending temper with your stability and things like that so uh proceed with caution especially with whoever's coming towards you it, it doesn't hurt to look into people and things ask a million questions just to make sure you are okay uh, the owl is what's out here. It says wise counsel. It says seek guidance from trusted friends or mentors to help you along getting advice. 
So you may be about to embark on a new journey, embark on a new endeavor, adventure, something like that, some type of new opportunity, whether it's in career or business, you are being advised to seek guidance from a wise counsel. It could be a practitioner, a counselor, or just someone mature in your family that you feel comfortable talking to. So go ahead and do that. Anyways, thank you again for watching the Ascended Realm of Divinations channel. I will see you in my next read and goodbye for now.